All right, if there's nothing, let's close this and we move on next to railings for students. To create railings, um, pretty straightforward this one, okay? Now if you look under here, this is an exercise here which uh, the staircase will go up and then this is the edge of the floor plate. This part here is the edge of the floor plate and then this is the void to the floor below. Without any barrier of some sort, someone walking here is going to fall right below here and end up injuring himself if not getting killed and he will need the ramp to move around after that okay at that huh? so we're not gonna we're gonna try to prevent this from happening by installing railings so under architecture under railing railing uh, sketch path this part here we are going to click on that to go into the sketch mode we can begin to draw lines or simply we can pick the lines here to create the railing and you click finish so by default then <coughs> the railings would have been created for you and you can view under let's create a perspective view under view under 3d view camera and then we can put one point here that will allow us to see the railings design in perspective this way is there a way to change the design yes we are coming to that next now we can show you these functions here but um, it is not likely that you will be able to remember how to do this until you personally have to engage the design of the railings yourself huh? this one so we'll just run through some of the basics on what you can do with it now once you can you have this the thing about also um, the thing about using Revit is Revit forces you or in a way influences you to remember the architectural component names um, a lot if you use it very frequently you, your architectural vocabulary is very up to date like for example what do you call this? This is a year one math tech question. What is this called? What is this post called? Can't remember, right? I'm quite sure. None of you would remember this. This is called a baluster. What do you call these lines? Very good. Oh, now you know this one, huh? What do you call this one at the corner? Okay, if it is a staircase at one corner that you have to turn, it's a larger one, it's called a newer post. Newer post. Okay, then obviously you have your handrail, etc. Okay, now why do why do I mention this? Because once you click on once you click on the staircase and you click on edit type. The word baluster placement comes in. So we now know what the baluster means. Okay. If you open up, if you now open up level 2, let's say, and you zoom in and see, you will find that hey, the the uh, the handrail doesn't quite line up with the staircase handrail on this one. We can make slight changes to that by clicking on it and editing it okay we can do a little bit of baluster offset here let's try 100 and see what happens do you notice now things have changed okay do you now notice the positioning have changed a little bit on that we can still begin to change some more things huh? we can make more changes to the things let's open up the uh, 3d view 
and activating a section box here so we can now begin to work and see the profile this will allow us to then see very very clearly the design the whole design of this railing component select this select the handrail again the railing and click edit type okay under the top rail portion down here you now see that you can control the height we can now change it to say 1000 and click apply do you find that the post now drops the height of the post drops a little bit we can now also change the profile of this by default it's a round handle you can hold but we can change that to a square we can change that to a rectangle we can change that to an elliptical shape of some sort by changing the profile here let's try rectangular and apply it now becomes a a square here okay but if I want a star how okay if you want a star not to say that it cannot be done it can be done eh? can be done but it will it will involve you okay under families eh? under families under railings okay under handrail type it will involve you loading a family profile here okay where do you then find this part okay this is actually a sketch profile like a circle like a square like a rectangle like a triangle like a star like a whatever like an ellipse so these are all shapes we can see these shapes under here circular handrail for example that's under profiles so you load this inside and then this one will somehow get influenced and be loaded into these various components down here for the profiles this is how we design the handrails in that sense okay that's the basic ones there are more complex ones in which you will design the baluster as well instead of a straight pose you wanted uh, it to be a square that's simple also but the hardest one will be what happens when it's not even a square uh, it's no longer a, this one but it's in fact a curve going up this way have you ever seen a castellated curve plate going up this way so this one will be a little bit more complex that one okay now if you click on this again click on the railing again we can then click on baluster placement to decide how how many you want to place at what condition start is where this corner is and then is there a corner for the other one here and then a center one on end post here this part okay on the rail structure itself if you look at this now you see now there are seven items here these seven items essentially refers to these number one number seven okay so you can keep adding on to it you can keep adding on until it becomes like a dense netting of sorts or you can keep adding two so that it becomes something also okay that one so we're going to try by removing it oh that's just too many let's make a change to it let's just have it at 900 600 and 300 only and then we click apply so some of these things can then be changed and applied to obviously if you see down here the categories you can then change the profiles and then the handrail profiles will now change from rounds to squares to ellipticals etc this one
just to let you take a closer look at that so you can depending on how you want to do this change the profiles what we can show you are the basics um, again it depends on really how complex your railing design is going to be and then we probably have to be tweaking around um, with that alright to get that one out